talking on what makes a powerful country in the world? There are many discussions on this topic. Think tanks, journalists and politicians do daily debates on it, talking about the solution of people's this and that problem. Some have their aggressive opinion on delegation of powers from top to bottom while some agree with bottom to top. Others say we should have good relations and alliances with our neighboring countries. But when we see in reality many countries are not so developed and powerful. Because of several reasons but one major reason which I would like to address is common, that is injustice in governing system of state. When a country has rules and laws but these rules and laws are slackened for elite class and tightened for common people, anarchy prevails. As a result of inequality in system, common people will also resist to follow their rules and regulations. By powerful country in the world means which is most influential and advanced country in all aspects. Yet the definition of powerful country in the world varies from one person to another. The first element is leadership that plays an important role in rise and fall of nation. Good leadership would be loyal to its country and do every task for By implementing transparent and fair judicial system in a state can rise the nation on their foot and build their confidence of being important to the state because of the feeling of equality of all irrespective of rich and poor. Country's economic state indicates its prosperity and power. One of the key factors of being powerful country in the world is country's strong economy. So looking into past examples, we can conclude that proper circulation of wealth from wealthier to state and from state to poor and then recycled through business, just like blood circulation in our body. Where the country is located may affect its geostrategic importance. This factor is somewhat natural but leadership vision can make it more attractive for foreign investment and tourism. The ability of nation to use power depends upon different factors but no single factor is entirely responsible for the growth of national power. Moreover, mere existence of various elements does not make a nation powerful. The large size of a country enables it to accommodate large population. It can also be a source of large and varied natural resources. Area covered by a country is also a key factor to be a powerful. Like Canada having 9.98 million square kilometers land area makes it second largest country in the world. Modern era is based on technology. Countries having advanced technology are fast moving in world. Other countries follow them and consider them infallible. Atomic and hydrogen bombs, satellites, fighter jets, missiles, submarines, drones, radars, supercomputers, mega constructions, robots, automatic cars and other devices are the products of modern technology that ultimately contribute power to a country. The more one country has all these, the more powerful country in the world it is. It may be considered for granted that any county has plenty of natural resources but their extraction and optimal use depends on leadership's vision. How much you have natural resources contribute to your progress and prosperity. Greater the population of a country greater will be market size for foreign investors to invest in power to fight with other nation as a number. This factor is more prominent when there is greater percentage of young population. Population must not be sheep instead well-educated and hard-working people are necessary to make a powerful country in the world. More the number of brave, hard and intelligent people of a country, more will be stronger and powerful that country.